and for this episode, we will be doing a makeup look. So, let's go. We have our EB Advanced Brown Define with Puddle Brush. And it looks like this. And this is the brush itself that looks like a toothbrush. And this is the pen itself. So it's really wrong, wrong, really long, guys. As you can see, I hope it doesn't break. Okay, so let's go for the brows first. <laughs> For the eyeshadow, we will be using orange and green. So I have with me my Beauty Glazed Color Board um, Eyeshadow Palette. Whew, that's kind of hard to pronounce. So anyway, here is the product. As you can see, can you see it? No, I don't think so. So anyway, if we open this one, we have four decks. Is that the right term? Yeah, I think so. So this is the first deck. As you can see, it's more on the green side. Though we have a yellow. And we have our orange. Which, by the way, you also have brown and yellow. And we have some blues. But we do have some browns. And a pastel yellow. And the last one, we have the purples. But we do have some pink and brown. No, actually this is not brown. It looks brown, but it is not brown when it touches your skin. So anyway, for this episode, we will be using... Um, hmm, let me see. Let me see. Um, I will be using this one. Orange and this green or this green i'm not yet sure so anyway let's start so guys as you can notice i'm not sure if it's registering on cam but anyway i have tape at the edge of my eye so um it prevents us from having a hot mess with the eyeshadow so this is some kind of a safety net i guess so anyway let's get let's Hmm. So anyway, let's proceed to the eyeshadows. Always do not forget to dab. One, two. to the green okay let's try this first let's see if this would work
now we will be using an eye an eyeshadow primer which is detail cosmetics eyes on you long wearing eyeshadow base okay While the eyeshadow primer is still tacky, then we will be putting a different um, color on it. And this is going to be Ecru Squad Palette of Detail Cosmetics. Again, it has 15, 15, 15 color eyeshadow. And we will be using Naker. And I haven't used this one yet so i'd like to try this one For our foundation, we will be using Everbalena Advanced Studio Finish Stick Foundation. Guys, you can always use your fingers after using any stick foundation. Your fingers is a very good tool to melt down the product itself. So if you may, just use your fingers. Then after using your fingers, you can use a sponge. Then you blend it out with my sponge. Sponge. So guys, um, if you have some fallouts with your eyeshadow, just don't worry because you can always use a baby powder and a talcum powder will do so it would definitely crack uh, so if so it would definitely catch the eyeshadow pigments or you can use your foundation of any form if it's a stick foundation foundation or if it's a liquid foundation it depends or if or even if it's a powdered foundation so it's really up to you let's proceed to our nose contour and i will be using sace lady such a lady i don't know how to pronounce this one but anyway this is a, a liquid foundation of a different um skin tone a different shade okay a different shade sorry then i'll just put it on top of her nose so it would create this illusion that the light is hitting the top of our nose and later on we will be creating shadows using our contour of course <music> We have our Everbalena Ultimate Eyeshadows and we will be using this shade. And always do not forget to tap. Twice is enough before it touches your skin. And for the tip of our nose, we will be using using Tidal Cosmetics Makeover Big Highlighter, which is this one, and the shade of Vanilla Cake. For our cheekbone and forehead contour, we will be using 
Everybody are not advanced face trio and this is the product. Then let's bake. Now let's dust it off. For our lips, we will be using Everbolena Matte Nudes in Dolce. So this is how our lips looks like. And so guys, I'm just going to pop in my false eyelashes. So this is our final look. I hope you guys like it. But my false eyelashes are not even. So I hope you guys forgive me for that. Uh-huh. Because, you know, when I do my false eyelashes, it's always a struggle. Because then again, I am hooded eyes. So, um, please forgive me for this episode. So anyway, we have our orange silver and green eyeshadow for the upper part and for the bottom part we almost did the same except there's no silver in the middle of our bottom lashes so yeah this feels so dreamy i guess so anyway we have our nude lips our face contour and of course we did our baking using a dish washing sponge and it works guys it works so much Whew. so anyway guys please do not forget to click like and subscribe to my channel so i could grow Okay guys, I'll see you guys. Oh, there's so many guys. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye guys, keep on supporting me. Thank you. I love you. Ooh. Ah. Ooh.